Hi guys, welcome for this new video uh, from Vito's Tech, it's Vito and today I decided to review, yes, again, the uh, a, a ROM available for the OnePlus One. It's the AOSP 4.4.4, so it means that it's the Android Store, like the Nexus experience on the OnePlus. I already done um, a review of this custom ROM, but uh, OnePlus is updating this ROM really quickly, you know. And now I decided to test the latest release. Why? Because there is some new and this ROM began to be really interesting. One of the big drawbacks that uh, has this ROM is that it's on, it was only available in a couple of languages and OnePlus added a lot of languages to this ROM and there is some features that I like and you will see that the performances are quite great. So let's start it up. So first, double tap to wake up of course is not working anymore because it's the stock version of Android. So you need to press the button like, yeah, like old days. So the lock screen is uh, pretty common. Uh, I have to say, um, yes, I have their fader, but just slide to uh, swoop to lock. So it's under stock. Don't forget it. Uh, notification, yeah, as you can see, I'm installing all my apps. So uh, notification is like every day. So, you know, it's uh, it's common. You can notice that there is the on-screen button. And if you remember my last video, I will put the link below. Um, if you remember my last video on this room, the, the only buttons that I available was the hardware one. Yes, Twix. No, it's the stock one. So let's head to parent settings. So you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, data consumption. You have flight, flight mode, NFC. Everything is working properly. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS. Everything is working really well, I have to say. I tried the GPS this morning. Uh, home settings. Uh, you'll get the choice between Google Now and Launch Free. I haven't tried it. I don't know why it is. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, it's the same launcher, but yes, it's the same launcher. We get back to my Nexus launcher. Okay. So. Let's get back to settings. Okay, uh, sounds, nothing to say, it's familiar. But now, screen. So light, backlight, uh, etc. And what is interesting is use software keys. Yes, you can now have the choice with this stop room between hardware button and software button. And I like it. Yes, it's great. Uh, storage, oh, so it's the 64 gigabyte version. Battery, uh, so don't um, don't care about the four hours because I've done a lot of things. You know, I'm downloading everything, so uh, it's not representative. The battery life seems really cool. So GPS is working. Uh, security, uh, uh, oh, I don't check that mine. Uh, notification access, uh, yes, nothing more to say. Uh, language, language, and here, oh, yes, a lot of languages has been added, sorry, for this custom room. And it's great, really. Uh, I'm French, so I decided to choose the French one. And I love that. Uh, day and time nothing to say accessibility nothing to say uh, so what about the phone so you are there you can verify I think you have no updates coming okay so um, state um, nothing to say the LT is working properly the only thing that I've got to do was to um, to set the APN wow. okay it's so hard to do um brute number so in dev mode you've got you can choose between Dalvik and uh IRT. So and you will see my what my point is I really want to try RRT. So what I've decided to do it's the first part of the video, so 
all the benchmark I've done is with Dalvik engine and I will do uh, just after a second part uh, you will see in the second part of this video the same test with uh, with the RET version we're gonna see if it works or not so let's head to the N2 and quadrant oh, so I put GPS that an hour and info but wow yes crazy score 46,135 if uh, you remember in CM11S33R it's 47,120 so 1,000 points is not a huge difference if you compare it to Paranoid Android 4.6 that I've just tried you can see it in the PDF on the blog you know on the right of the blog um, it's 42,219 yes it's really less so it's quite working well it's a head of pretty much everything on the, on the on the market the ma the mi the xiaomi this galaxy s5 note 3 the vivo etc yes i like so what else to say uh it's rooted uh i love love it love it uh quite on I don't score I don't know if it, yes 22,554 um, I haven't done this test on uh, on all the rounds I know that it's a common score uh, with the late with the uh, the precedent release it was 22,434 so really close um, really close yeah it's good it's really good so it's a quick video as I said nothing else to say uh, it's just working well it's smooth and the camera ah yes the camera yeah I wanted to show you that so you are for sure uh, you have HD you have some options you know you can see there you have 30 megapixels and if you go into camera you go there here, and yes video you can choose with 4k V now it's great, but you still don't have, uh, I haven't found it. Uh, you still don't have the, um, the, uh, oh, sorry, slow motion. Yes, you don't have the slow motion right now. It's like that. Uh, I will try to install camera next, APK. Um, you're gonna see if it works, but it's really working well. It's smooth, it's okay. You don't have all the tweaks that you have on the, um, on the CM uh, 11s uh, version but I have to say I'm impressed and it's working so that's it uh, now let's head to the second part of this video which was with the RRT engine see you guys okay guys it's the second part of the video I uh, I changed the running engine of uh, my Android uh, stock version to a -R -A -R -T. I'm going to show you that it's right here I don't know if you can see well you go to developer option and here you get engine execution use a -R -T. Uh, it takes a bit of time to change it's rebooting application or uh, you know it's a uh, you can I will put the link uh, below uh, it's the link to my uh, to my website uh, explaining the differences between ART and Dalvik. ART on uh, now on KitKat version is more a developer uh, option, you know. But I decided to try it, and I have to say <coughs> it's bad performances. It's not well at all. Yes, we lose two thousand points. So okay, uh, I'm you know I'm a bit. Uh, tampering you know uh, this this score because I installed a lot of app on my phone so maybe it's why but I have to say I'm not convinced uh, I don't know if it works well or not the quadrant score is not uh, uh, is not amazing uh, really and oh why where is my score I have not my score. Oh damn! Uh, it was twelve thousand. So yes, a lot of disappointment. I will get back to Davik. So uh, to conclude with this ROM, if you want a Nexus experience, go for them. Go for it. 
Uh, but I will stick to it until tomorrow. And tomorrow, big, big, big surprise for you. Uh, yes, a, a big, big surprise. I'm gonna try a brand new ROM that's going to be released tomorrow. I hope to get my hands on it and hope uh, it works well. So, guys, it was Vito for Vito's Blo Vito dot blogspot.com don't forget to like share subscribe and comment if you have anything to say and don't forget to visit at the blog thanks guys see you next